What's up everyone, you got Tapesh Kumar here and I don't know if you guys heard about it or not but Airbus recently made a flight where the aircraft took off on its own. They have this ongoing project which is known as ATTOL which stands for Autonomous Taxi, Takeoff and Landing which means they're developing airplanes which can take off, land and also even taxi on the ground on their own without any pilot inputs. So that obviously brings up the question that what are the pilots doing in the cockpit then? And in the future, will pilots even be required in the cockpit? And today, I'm here to answer that question for all of you. Before we talk about the future, we first need to talk about what is happening right now. In today's date, what level of automation do we have? On most commercial airplanes, so right now we're only talking about the big commercial airplanes and not the small ones. The small ones either do not have autopilots or they have very basic autopilots. The modern commercial big ones that you guys usually fly on when you're going on a flight, those airplanes are all very automatic even right now. They all have something known as an autopilot, which is nothing more than a computer which operates the aircraft in accordance to the pilot's inputs. Now the pilot's inputs are not physical inputs to the controls. The pilot will tell the autopilot to do something. For example, I want my aircraft to let's say climb to a particular altitude. So I as a pilot will tell the autopilot by either rotating a dial or punching in a few numbers that you need to climb to this altitude. Now the autopilot will automatically make the aircraft pitch up and climb to that altitude and on reaching that altitude, the aircraft will level off and maintain that particular height. That is a very basic function of an autopilot. Autopilots can also maintain a particular heading, they can maintain a particular track, they can also maintain routes. There's a lot of stuff that autopilots can do right now as well. However, as of date, no airplane has an autopilot which can take it off. So whenever you're taking off on an airplane, always remember the pilot is flying the aircraft manually. He has the controls in his hands and he is doing the rotation and everything and the aircraft is totally in the pilot's hands. However, there are aircrafts which can land automatically. Actually most of the big commercial airplanes they all can land automatically. So these airplanes have multiple autopilots. They could have two or even three autopilots and these autopilots are coupled together and they work together and they make the aircraft follow the exact path which is required to land on the runway while the pilot is just sitting there and monitoring everything. So the pilot's job is less of flying the airplane and it's more of monitoring the systems. These systems can make the aircraft land absolutely safely on the runway and exactly on the runway center line without any inputs from the pilots. So usually on a flight, your pilots after takeoff, they will rotate the aircraft manually, get it airborne and after a particular height, which is different for each aircraft, they will engage the autopilot. Unless someone wants to fly manually, then you can do that as well. But mostly after takeoff, we just engage the autopilot and let the autopilot do its job while we just sit there and we monitor all the systems. So I'm sure you can guess that the role of a pilot is in the future and even now more of a manager in the cockpit rather than actual flying. So back in the days when airplanes were just introduced, the pilot was there to fly the airplane. So they would have the controls in their hands and they would just actually fly the aircraft. As automation has improved, pilots have been now reduced or shifted to a managerial role in the cockpit. So now their job is to manage everything, manage the situations and manage the cockpit and let the automation and the autopilots do the job of flying. Now this is very nice. There is nothing wrong with it. I know it sounds negative that they're taking away the flying part, but honestly, it is very good. I'll tell you the reason why. Imagine you're doing a flight from, let's say, India to the US. It's a very long flight, 14, 16 hour flight. You can't expect the pilot to sit and fly the aircraft for 16 hours. I'm sure you can imagine that would be very, very tiring. Also, in case something goes wrong in the cockpit, then you have to manage a lot of things. There are a lot of systems that can go wrong. A lot of situations can develop. And to manage those situations, if you have an autopilot which is helping you out and which is flying the aircraft, which leaves your mind free to concentrate and resolve the problem, rather than concentrate on flying the aircraft, safety is increased. So automation is reducing pilot fatigue and it's improving safety standards. And that brings me to the future. What is gonna happen in the future? 
So as for this program by Airbus, the ATTOL program, they have initially as of now on the Airbus A350 tested automatic takeoffs. In the coming time, they will be also testing automatic taxi as well as automatic landings which are already there. So as per the automatic takeoff thing, they put up image sensors in front of the aircraft, basically gave the aircraft its own eyes and the aircraft can recognize the runway center line and then automatically maintain it. So the pilots just line up the aircraft with this runway center line and add thrust and engage the autopilot. Now the autopilot will sense the runway center line and it will maintain the runway center line as you can see in this video. And eventually when you reach the rotation speed, so there's a speed at which we begin our takeoff and we begin our rotation off the ground. Reaching that speed, the autopilot will automatically bring the aircraft nose up and get the aircraft airborne. Eventually, sometime down the line, Airbus will also be testing automatic taxi, where the pilots will just have to tell the aircraft the taxi on this taxiway or that taxiway and park on that apron or park on that bay, and the aircraft will automatically do it. All of this, does it mean pilots will not be required? Absolutely not. All of these automations which are being introduced, they are being done for two reasons. Like I said, to reduce pilot fatigue and majorly the main reason is to improve flight safety. More the automation you have, more safe your operations become. Because we as humans are always prone to errors. There are chances of human error happening. However, a computer properly programmed and with proper inputs will produce some excellent results. As a result, these automations are helping out the pilots to improve their operation of the aircrafts. You will never, at least for the foreseeable future, have an aircraft where there are no pilots or no two pilots sitting in the front of the airplane. I personally would never fly on an aircraft which does not have a pilot sitting up front and who has the controls or who has the authority to take over controls of the aircraft. I'm sure you guys also will not sit on an aircraft which is totally being controlled by computers. So at least for the foreseeable future, nothing of this sort is happening where the pilots will not be required in the aircraft. Even as per Airbus, who are the pioneers in developing this technology, even in their press release they have clearly mentioned that all of this is to make the aircraft operation safer, keeping the pilot at the center of it. So the pilots are still and will always for a very long time be a very integral part of an airplane and our jobs are not going anywhere for a long long time to come i hope you guys got to learn something today and if you did please do give the video a thumbs up also please do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one